This video is going to cover how you can set up and solve for distance rate time word problems. And before we do that, I want to make sure that you understand that distance equals rate times time and why that makes sense. So let's say that you are jogging at 10 miles per hour. So there's 10 miles per one hour and you go for maybe three hours. So three hours total. All right. How far are you going to be jogging? What would the distance be? Well, you've gone 10 miles in the first hour and 10 miles in the second hour and 10 miles in the third hour. So that's 10 miles times three, which is 30 miles. There's your 30 miles right there. All right. So hopefully that kind of makes sense that your rate time to time is going to give you the distance. And we can see what happens with the units here too. That might be kind of interesting. So 10 miles per one hour times three hours would look like that. And when we multiply this, the, the hours cancel out, the time unit cancels out and we get 10 miles times three, which gives us 30 miles right there. So we're left with the distance. So rate times time is equal to distance. So we'll use that formula to set up a table for all these word problems. I'm going to say rate times time equals distance and all the tables, I'll set them up looking like this. So let's see how we can fill this out. An aircraft carrier made a trip to Guam and back. The trip there took three hours and the trip back took four hours. All right, so I'm going to say that this aircraft carrier is going there and returning. Um, going, it was three hours. So that tells me the time for going was three and the trip back took four hours. So I'll put a four right there. It averaged six kilometers per hour on the return trip. So coming back was six. That's the rate. Find the average speed of the trip there. So whatever they're asking me to find, I'm going to put my variable in that spot. So let's think about this situation. The aircraft carrier is going somewhere and it's coming back. That means that going and coming back had the same distance. So the distance for going and the distance for returning are going to be the same. And the distance going there is going to be x times 3, rate times time, or I could just write it 3x. And returning would be 6 times 4, which is 24. So we can say that 3x equals 24. And if we divide both sides by 3, we get x equals 8. So I've solved for the average speed of the trip there. It's 8 kilometers per hour. All right, let's go on to another one. Let's see, maybe number, number 4 might be good. Jose left the White House and drove toward the recycling plant at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. All right, let's set this up again. So rate times time equals distance. And told us we have Jose here. I'll put a J for J for Jose. Um, he left the White House and uh, he had an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So here's his rate. He's going 40 kilometers an hour. Rob, it's my other person. I'll put an R there. Left sometime later driving in the same direction at an average speed of 48 kilometers per hour. So here's Rob's rate. After driving for five hours, Rob caught up with Jose. So Rob's time is five. And they said that Rob caught up with Jose. So sounds like here's Jose is going, Rob catches up to him, which means that they, they've gone the same distance again. How long did Jose drive before Rob caught up? So here's my variable, the time for Jose. Um, as we said, the distances are the same again for this situation. So Let's figure out what each of the distances are. Jose is going to be 40x, and Rob is going to be 48 times 5. Let's see what we get for that. 48 times 5 is 240. And this one should have been 40x right there. All right, so they went the same distance. So 40x equals 240. If you divide both sides by 40, you'll get x equals 6. So in the context of this situation, Jose's time was six hours. Let's go down to another one. 
about number six. Looks good here. Uh, Kali left school and traveled toward her friend's house at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So we've got rate times time equals distance. They said Kali here, so I'll put a K, was traveling at 40 kilometers per hour. Here's her rate. Matt, so here's M for Matt, left one hour later and traveled in the opposite direction with an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour. So Matt's going a little bit faster. He's going in the opposite direction. Let's just draw what this looks like. Here's, here's Kali going this way. Matt's going this way. Find the number of hours Matt needs to travel before they are 400 kilometers apart. All right, so Matt's time, that's what we're looking for. I'll put an X right there. Now, I don't have time for Kali here, so let's see if we can figure out what her time would be. It says right here, Matt left one hour later, so he's been traveling for less time than Kali. That means that Kali's been traveling for more time than Matt. So if Matt left an hour later, Kali was an hour earlier and has been traveling Matt's time plus one more hour. Okay, so find the number of hours Matt needs to travel before they're 400 kilometers apart. So what's happening here with our, with our diagram? Um, if they're going to be 400 kilometers apart, it looks like we're going to add their distances to get 400. So Matt's distance plus Collie's distance is 400. So let's see, Collie's distance is going to be 40. That's her rate times time, which is x plus 1. So 40 times x plus 1 is 40x plus 1. 40. Matt's distance is 50x. So these should add up to 400 right here. Here's Matt's distance, four, uh, 50x plus Collie's distance, which is 40x plus 40, and that adds up to 400. So I'll write it down here. We've got 50x plus 40x is 90x. I'm going to subtract 40 on both sides to get 360 here. And then if we divide both sides by 90, we'll get x equals 4. All right, so that tells us that Matt has been driving for 4 hours. And they didn't ask for this specifically, but then we could say Kali's been driving for 5 hours. x plus 1 it would be 5. Let's try one more. Let's do number 7 here. So I'll... Make the table rate times time equals distance. All right, Ryan left the science museum and drove south. So we've got Ryan. Gabriella left three hours later, driving 42 kilometers per hour faster in an effort to catch up to him. So G for Gabriella. Now, it didn't tell us how long she's been traveling. It just said three hours later than Ryan and 42 kilometers per hour faster than Ryan. So we don't know her rate or time yet. But it does say that she, she catches up to him. So that means that they'll end up going the same distance for this problem too. After two hours, Gabriella finally caught up. Ah, so that tells us that her time is two. And since she left three hours after Ryan, Ryan had been going the two hours plus three more. So his time would be five hours. And it asks, find Ryan's average speed. So here's what I'm looking for. And I don't have this cell here. What's going to go in this space? So let's figure out what Gabriella's rate would be. It said that she's 42 kilometers per hour faster than Ryan. So that would be Ryan's speed plus 42 kilometers per hour. Gabriella catches up. So that means that their distances are equal. So Ryan's Leaving first, Gabriella catches up and goes the same distance by the time she catches up to him. So let's see, how can we find his, his speed for Ryan? We've got Ryan is 5x, that's his distance, and Gabriella's going to be 2 times x plus 42, which is 2x plus 84. So these are going to be equal to each other. 5x equals 2x plus 84. We can subtract 2x on both sides and get... 3x is equal to 84, and then we can divide by 3. 
and we get x is equal to, let's see, 84 divided by 3 is 28. So we found that Ryan's average speed would be 28. Uh, the units are kilometers per hour. Okay, so there you go. There's some distance rate time word problems. I hope that was helpful in seeing how to set them up and solve for them. I'll put a link to this worksheet in the description in case you want to try any more of these problems on your own.